Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. This is uh, well, one of a few videos that I've done recently Absolutely. with James Fletcher. If you want to check out his channel, he does a lot of radio, solar, prepping, all sorts of stuff. Yep. Check out his channel, links in the description below. <coughs> um, we've been out today testing a bit of radio uh, equipment and doing some videos. And one thing I thought I'd do is just talk to you about this. Now, I put some pictures on Facebook and Instagram recently of, uh, of this antenna with a couple of network radio devices and a lot of people asked about it, they asked a lot of questions, um, where it was from, what it was all for. So basically, in a nutshell for those who don't know, this is what uh, we call network radio. So they are basically Android mobile phones, still technically a radio, um, that, off, that work on 3G and 4G um, over Wi-Fi, over data network. Um, the, uh, they take SIM cards, you can use them as phones, they have cameras, they run apps, um, but we like to use things like Zello on them. And a lot of people out there, there's, there's sort of divided opinion on this, a lot of people say it's not radio, some say it is. We know it's not amateur radio in the sense of like 2 metres and 70 centimetres in HF, but we experiment as radio amateurs and uh, the uh, emit and receive radio waves. It's communication, it's yeah. wireless communication. Doesn't matter what frequency band it's on, yeah, yeah. it's all part of radio. Doesn't yeah, it? and a lot of people say to me, well, it's not real radio, but f for me, my my interest isn't just amateur radio, it's, it's communications in general. Yeah. Yeah. Um, myself and James, we talk a lot on things like Telegram and WhatsApp. Uh, again, it's just communication. So... What we've got here is um, a couple of network radio devices. So this is the Quingu uh, S7 Plus or the 7S Plus. Forgive me, I get the name wrong sometimes. Um, this is a 4G network radio which I run on Zello. Um, here I've got the Quingu P3. This is uh, another network radio. James has got here a, basically this is a Shure F22, but um, all otherwise known as a Radio Tone RT3. That's uh, a 3G model. Um, again, all these work really well, and a lot of people say that the disadvantage with network radio is that you've got to buy SIM cards, and you know if you want to run all these at the same time, you can um, you know you're going to need a SIM card for each one and paying a data deal. Now, I'm just wanted to talk through what I have. So here is a couple of Huawei. Uh, that is a 3G um, wireless router. Uh, they call it, I think they call it MiFi device, yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, this is a 4G one. Now basically I have a SIM with three at the moment and I get 25 gigs for £9 a month. I think you get the same, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I was with James, he told me what he got and I thought, well, I need something like that. So I rang them, it's not something they do on the website, but I rang them and said, look, this is what my friend's got, what can you do? And... Um, that's uh, that's the agreement we came to. So yeah, yeah 25 gigs for nine pound a month, and it's basically a, a MiFi device. You'll see some close-up shots on the screen here, and this has got a, a data sim in it, and you basically connect to it as a router. Now, what you can do if you're using multiple devices, or you, you know you've got loads of these devices and only one SIM card, rather than keep swapping SIMs around all the time, you can just tether them off this repeater. You could tether them off your iPhone as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's innumerable, innumerable different ways of doing it, but um, I like to run multiple devices off this. So if I have this in the car, I can run uh, something like an Enrico TM7, a Sennheiser N60 network radio. Straight from this, I can run a handheld. Um, you know, if I'm out um, for the day and I've got um, like a bag on my back, I can just drop this in there and run multiple devices, um, and it, it works really well. Uh, James has got uh, an older device here, and when I say it's older, I actually prefer these because you'll notice the, uh, the the main difference between these devices is the fact that one has got these antenna sockets in, and the antenna you can see is this 4G LTE antenna in here. Now this is a panel antenna inside, so there's a PCB inside with some copper tracks on it. Um, I would I would well I would assume it's uh, usually in like a diamond shape, hence the shape of the antenna itself. Um, basically, you can mount this on a wall. Uh, you have a little suction pad on the bottom there, and this is just really handy if you're if you're in a bit of a built-up area. You need that little bit of extra gain. Um, these do have an antenna inside. It, it's a small wire um, inside a piece of plastic um, enclosure inside here, but um, this just helps uh, deliver a little bit more oomph uh, if you wanted to use network radios out in the field and. Obviously, um, we've used this extensively mm -hmm. when we've been doing yeah. testing, and it, it does work, it does make the difference. It doesn't make a massive difference, but it can make the difference between getting a connection or not getting a connection. So the ideal scenario in a car would be to unscrew this sticky suction cup, 
fasten that onto the back and the boom shot, like so. <laughs> and then just fastening that, sticking it to your window of your car. And that will just bring in enough power to give you your 3 or 4G. Yeah, and what I do, I've not, I've not brought my antenna with me today. This is James's, um, but again, my, mine's identical to this. You can buy these off eBay for about eight or nine quid. Yeah, can't yeah you? very cheap. Um, and, and it's handy. I, I sometimes have this in the in the window of the shed, and it just allows me to walk around the garden and use these devices and stuff. You know, if I'm out in the garden, it's a nice day. Got a couple of radios with me, and it's handy just to have the um, the network radio there. So yeah, uh, th this th these are, are just brilliant. Like yeah. I say, it doesn't make the world a difference, but it, no. it makes enough. And in a situation where you need um, just that little bit more, uh, they do work well. And you've you've used this for a couple of years now. Oh, yeah. for quite a few years, yeah. this has been used now. Um, but yeah, like I say, they, they, they are really cheap. And they um, they just work. They just work really well. Yeah. These are ideal if you're in like a tent, if you're in a caravan, mm -hmm. stick them on a caravan window, um, just anywhere. And, and and these are just really good. Like I say, I'll show you some sort of close-up shots of these guys. But uh, this is basically it's got like a mobile phone battery inside. Uh, the SIM card is underneath, and you simply just press the button to turn it on and um, you, you connect to it uh, via um, just like you would any normal Wi-Fi network. Um, so yeah, so those who wanted to see this set up, um, I hope that explained it a little bit better for you. Uh, like I say, there's some pictures and close-ups in this video for you to see it properly. Um, there'll be a link to James' description in the channel. Um, I don't think you've done a video on this yet, have you? But he does plenty of stuff with radios, yeah, network yeah. radios and things like that. And both have very, very common interest, don't we, when it comes yeah, to radio? Yeah, definitely. Uh, is there anything I've missed on these, James? No, I think you covered it all, really. Like I say, you know, you will get the, uh, the certain people who will say it's not part of the hobby. But ultimately, it is what it is. You know, people start off on CB radio, people start off on network radio, it all gets you interested in. And, you know, for instance, I live over Staffordshire, the United Greater Manchester way. You know, we can't get a radio that we can communicate uh, with even through a repeater. However, we can with these. Yeah. And on long distances and journeys, these are great. But also there's times where you lose your signal, so it's good to have uh, VHF. So. In, fact, in fact, it's quite interesting. We were in Radio World today. In fact, I'll put a couple of clips in in a second. Me and James, we went for a full English breakfast this morning, <coughs> and we passed Radio World, and we stopped in, didn't we? It's a shop in Staffordshire. Uh, Great World. Great World. Yeah. So we uh, we had a quick look, and you don't see many amateur radio shops, and it is a hell of a shop. So um, I'll put some shots in in a second of Radio World. So uh, uh, the, the lad who, who spoke to us in there was really helpful. Sam. Yeah, Sam. Sam. Um, so if you're watching this, Sam, uh, hope you hope you're uh, okay. Uh, thanks for showing us around the uh, the radios and stuff in Radio World. Um, but Sam actually said he, he stocks at Enrico T320, mm. um, and he actually said he sells a lot of these to commercial users. Yeah. Um, and this isn't sponsored by Radio World. Um, I just thought I said to Sam, do you mind if I do a bit of filming and we'll put it on YouTube and, and stuff? So. Um, yeah, he stops the T320 and said that he sells a lot of these to commercial users because they they buy like volume sims mm -hmm. with you know the more you buy you can like buy a batch of 50 sim cards with a certain amount of data if you've got a fleet and he said a lot of them just use Zello so it's um it, it's really handy but yeah for the uh, for the single like use user myself the, these are just really good oh, yeah, um, yeah, so uh, network radios definitely uh, definitely will increase the network radios groups on Zello are just like uh, booming with activity and it's just a, a another nice um, asset to the hobby
with that, James, I think we'll, we'll wrap up. Yeah, um, and we can point the camera in a bit, but I have an NVK set up on my, uh, on my shelf behind my desk, which is always switched on to the various channels that I'd use. Uh, <laughs> so this is for in the car, I've got one in the house, good for house car comms, and it's just good for listening into stuff as yeah. well. So what we did was we named our devices all different things. So these are all under different accounts. You can use them all on the same account, but not simultaneously. So uh, what we're going to look at doing later is setting up a group with all our devices in. So whichever device we use, we can contact each other. But yeah, it's not amateur radio, but for mode of communication, it's very good. Oh, yes. I, uh, I, I really enjoy it. Definitely. So uh, yeah, plus you can never have too many toys and gadgets. Never too many. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll leave that one there. Thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, comments, suggestions um, about this setup, then just drop them in the box below. If you want to see James's channel, link is in the description as well. Go and check it out. Um, he's got a couple of videos coming soon. He's been really busy lately, um, so he's not, not done a great deal, but he has got a couple of videos in the pipeline. Yeah, sure. Um, same, same as myself, it's, uh, it's, it's a full, almost a full-time job trying to run a YouTube, but uh, we get there. So thanks for watching, guys. 7-3, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.